If you're looking to record audio from a microphone connected to your computer, via a USB audio interface, for example, into the DaVinci Resolve Fairlight page, here's how you set that up. It's a little bit different than other digital audio workstation apps. Great thing about DaVinci Resolve is you can use a free version, or there is also a studio version, which has a few more features, but in either version, you can go ahead and record, and here's how. So first of all, in our system settings for sound, I need to select the audio interface that has the microphone connected to it that I'm going to record. In this case, I'm going to choose for both my input, the audio interface I'm using, which is the Volt 276 in my case. Also for the output, I'll choose the Volt 276, so I can also attach a set of headphones to it and monitor while I'm recording. Then once we've done that, we come over here into DaVinci Resolve and open a brand new project. We come first into the edit page, and you might say, wait, Curtis, I'm not going to do any video. I just want to do audio. That's okay. <laughs> we do need to just set one thing up here really quickly. If you don't already have the media pool open, make sure you click on the media pool, then come down into this area here, right click, and we're going to create a new timeline. And that will just allow us to create a space where we can make a new audio recording. We don't have to record any video. It's just going to be audio in our case, so don't worry. Go ahead and change the audio track type to mono. In our case, we're recording spoken word audio, a voiceover track, if you will. And we really only need mono, but we'll also talk about stereo if you are recording a stereo track. But we'll go ahead and start with mono. Everything else we can leave at its default and click Create. All right, now we can come over to the Fairlight page. And you will notice we have this one track here, this one audio track. That's perfect for us. We're just recording a single mono track. And you can see right here, it is a mono track. That's what the 1.0 refers to. Now I just need to arm this track for recording by pressing the R button. But you'll notice when I do that, it flashes red for just less than a second and turns off, as if to say, no, you can't record. <laughs> and the question is, is why can't we record? Well, you do need to come over to the input and tell the Fairlight page where to get audio for this particular input track. So if you don't have the mixer over here, go ahead and make sure you click on Mixer so that that shows up over here. We'll click on the input and then choose Input. That brings us to our patch page. So what we need to do here is that we need to make sure that we have selected audio inputs on the left here for our source and track input for our destination. And what we're telling the Fairlight page here is for audio track number one, that's this first track here, where should we get the audio? And in this case, I have the microphone connected to my Volt 276 in its first input. So I'm gonna click this box right here. You'll notice that once I click it, it turns white on the outline. And this one's already selected, Audio 1. If it wasn't, I could go ahead and select it and then click Patch. And what I'm telling Fairlight here is the input number one from this audio interface, connect that to and send its audio to Audio 1 track here in this timeline. So this Audio 1 track is going to get its audio from the first input on the Volt 276. We'll close that. Now when we click on the record button and arm it, wow, it's getting audio from our microphone. Perfect. Now to start recording, I just click the record button like that. And you can see right here, the waveform is coming in as we talk. We are now recording in the Fairlight page. If you want to go ahead and stop the recording, you can press the space bar or press the stop button. Either will do the job. And now we have our recorded audio. Now, what if instead of recording mono, I actually wanted to record a stereo track? Well, to do that, first of all, I need to have two microphones connected to my audio interface or a stereo microphone connected to two inputs on my audio interface. And then what I can do is change this track type to stereo. So I right click in the header here, change the track type to stereo. Now you can see it has a left and a right channel here. And what I also need to do is come back into the input over here, and I need to patch and tell it where to get that second channel, where to get the right channel. So we already have the left channel here. That's input number one. And then we're going to get our right microphone connected to input number two on our audio interface. Make sure that both of these destinations are selected for right and left, or left and right, and then click patch. And you can see now for this track, audio one, the left channel is going to come from the first input on the Volt 276, and the right channel is going to come from the second input on the Volt 276. Once you have that patched, you can go ahead and start recording, and you'll get a stereo recording right here in the Fairlight page. Hope that was helpful. Get out there and make some great sound, and we will talk to you again next week.